I never realized just how much blue I wear. <laughs> That's actually not the subject of this video, but I just wanted to throw it out there. Um, blue has always been my favorite color for as long as I can remember. I, I do remember at one point when I was really young, I was into the color red. And I think it was because I had a strawberry shortcake um, bed set because I was really, really into strawberry shortcake, the original, who wore like the bonnet. <laughs> but regardless, um, after that, for moving on to obviously even now, blue has always been like my color. And um this is not the subject of this video, but I just wanted to throw it out there because I'm editing a bunch of videos that I've recorded and I realized how I wear a lot of blue and that's okay. I like blue. I think blue is one of those colors that um, it has such a wide spectrum, all the different hues. You know, there are some blues that are really dark and, you know, they, they're very like deep and serious. And then you also have very bright and vibrant blues that are like sunny and you know warm and you know but I think it's also just for me blue is the color that kind of encompasses my emotional state at all times um there's a blue for when I'm happy there's a blue for when I'm sad there's a blue for when I'm angry there's a blue for when I'm hungry like there's just blue is I, I, you know what, I am, I am going to count blue as one of my blessings, even though that's not what I set down to do when I recorded this video. So let me get into it. Um, this isn't meant to be a long video, but I haven't done a blessing video in a while. And I thought with everything that's been going on in life, um, this would be a good time to do it. Um, I'm not going to try to rehash and recap everything. I may or may not have mentioned some of this already, but, um, I had a family member who we thought we were going to lose for a while. They're in the hospital and they're out and they're doing better, but you know, it's still an upward hill struggle. You know, they're not ever going to be where they were. And so, um, you know, that, you know, is always a challenge. Um, getting messages and texts from different family members, hearing about other people who are, you know, battling illnesses and things like that. And, dealing with the memory of people who've been lost too soon, you know, it's, it's, just, it's a lot, you know, and um, just all of that on top of everything else that you have to do in life. You know, um, I'm at a position right now at my job where I am doing my normal job, but I'm also covering for someone else. So it's kind of like I'm doing two jobs. <laughs> I am being compensated for it. I don't want to make it seem like my company is taking advantage of me. And anyway, they're not. Um, I signed up for this, but it is temporary. But as temporary as it is, it's a lot. It's been stressful. Um, some of it's been a good kind of stressful because it's me figuring out how to work out challenges. But still, you know, um, that's, you know, been a challenge in and of itself. Um, of course, my ongoing health issues, I'm not looking for any pity whatsoever. There are people out there who are, you know, battling cancer. So I'm not, that's not what this is about, but I'm just saying that um, recently someone else I know um, very close to me discovered that they have a similar condition to what I have and they're beginning to understand the reality of what it's like to not be able to just go somewhere and eat whatever you want because you don't know if what you're going to eat is going to make you sick. And so I'm not, I'm not like morbidly relieved that this person is having this experience, but it's nice to know that they can now relate to me and I can actually help them through this process because it, it is, it may not seem like a big lifestyle adjustment, but it is when you go from being able to just order, you know, takeout or go through a fast food or, you know, something like that, at a convenience, even if it's like, oh, I don't eat a lot of fast food. It's not about that. Um, I didn't eat a lot of fast food either, but when that option is no longer available to you, it does change your reality. And so anyway, again, moving on, um, this video pretty much is dedicated to my husband because everything that's been going on for the past two months, he's just really been my rock. But there's a caveat to this. Um, 
every relationship is different. So I'm not comparing my marriage to anyone else's by any means whatsoever, because I don't believe there's such thing as a perfect marriage. <laughs> I think that um, this, the whole idea of perfect is just not realistic. It's not human. So that's not what I'm aiming for is perfect. Um, I'm, I'm striving for peaceful, you know, and I feel like I have a very peaceful marriage. I am married to my best friend. I would not be married to him if he was not my best friend. And I get that that's not everyone's situation. It doesn't have to be. You do what works for you. You know, there are some people who marry their complete opposites because that's what works for them. And that's okay. But I am married to my best friend. And in the midst of all of this stuff that's been happening lately with work and health and sick family member, <sighs> Me and my best friend were apart from each other for 10 days. And that was a whole other adventure that I did not sign up for. I am not a military wife. I did not sign up to have my best friend be away from me for 10 days at a time. So I struggled. Um, and he was going through too. So, I mean, I'm not, this isn't all about me. You know, this is, you know, pity me. It's all about me. You know, he, he was, you know, struggling too, but, you know, um, being at home, dealing with, you know, life and all of these different challenges without him for 10 days on top of taking care of our special needs dog. It was just a lot, but he's back now. And like I said, life is settling. Um, life, life never settles down, <laughs> but it's settling to the point where I can handle it better. Plus I've got my best friend with me. So this um, episode is basically just kind of dedicated to him. He is my blessing um, that I am counting right now because um, if I had, you know, to be a single woman living in this role and making it happen and making it work, I, I would totally do that. But I signed up to spend my life with someone and that's my normal. <laughs> so he's not allowed to go away for 10 days again. <laughs> Um, that's not my normal, um, at least not now. And so anyway, I am just grateful, um, that he's back, that we are together. We went out on a date the other day to do what we consider a date. You know, we went toy shopping and, and it's not like what you're thinking. Like these are, um, toys for us, you know, action figures are collectibles, things like that. Regardless, um, it was just nice to spend time with my best friend and, um, yeah, so that is that is me counting my blessings. Um, guys, please, you know, take care of yourselves, lean on the ones you love, and stay safe. Be blessed. <laughs>